Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Gavin and I thought I would do my June TBR video today. I'm really excited about this one. If you don't already know, I was inspired by Becca at Becca in the Booth to do my own Bucopoly board and it's going to help me decide what I'm going to read next month. If you haven't already seen my Ghibli-a-thon TBR, check that out. I have chosen six books to read during the week of June 10th to the 16th, so I already have six books planned for, for June. And those books are How's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne-Jones, November 9 by Colleen Hoover, The Mermaid by Christina Henry, Matilda by Roald Dahl, The Worst Witch by Jill Murphy, and The Beast Player by Nohoko Yahashi. So those are the six books that I'm definitely reading in June, but I need to pick more books because I've been reading a lot more um, lately, and that's just for one week. So I've got to pick books for the other three weeks, and I read on average now about eight books a month but in April I read 12 which is my all-time high and May isn't over yet but I think I'm on my 10th book and one of them was A Game of Thrones and that was a long ass book so I think I'm going to roll on my book probably six times and if I get a double I have to roll again and add more to my TBR so we're looking at maybe 12 potential books on my TBR or more. So I'm excited about this one. I hope I get some good rolls in there. But like my first ever Bookopoly video, I'm going to show you me actually using the board. I didn't show it in the last video because I didn't want to be exactly the same as Becca in the book. So I'm just going to try and switch it up a little bit here. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's do some rolling. If you've never seen my Bookopoly before, this is uh, just a quick little look at it. I showed it off a bit more in my last Bookopoly video. And yep, this was inspired by Becca in the Books, but I kind of made it my own with a few more like children's books on there and uh, some young adult in LGBT. So this is, this is the beautiful board. And in the last video, I landed on horror as my final role. So that is where I'm starting off today. So I'm starting off on the horror section. Yay! I really hope I don't fucking land on that. Really don't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is, this is my board again. Beautiful. So this is pretty much the only way I can think of doing my Bucopoly and not having it be an exact copy of Becca's. So I want to show you guys me playing this. It's a one player game so I don't feel as sad but I'll be able to show I'll be able to show you what I roll and I can also show my thought process of picking the book for that roll. So I really hope I don't land on a couple of them because I don't really have very many of some of them. Let's just let's just get started, shall we? This is this is what we came for. Oh yeah. This is what we came for. Right. Oh I'm I'm excited. Oh uh, okay, let's let's give it a whirl. Should I do it on the Bukopoly board? And then or should I do it on the floor? Depends what on the floor. Six, nine. I got a nine. Six and a three. And let's let's do it from horror. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh shit. Okay, so I landed on a chance card immediately. I hope it's not double your TBR. <laughs> so let's see what it is. Okay, okay. Uh, I got, can you even see this? It's far too bright. Oh my God. It's just like general, normal paper and it's just far too bright. But okay, you're just gonna have to trust me. <clears throat> But it is Footsteps of a Stranger. Read a book with a person of colour main character. That's going to be interesting to pick. What books do I have? Um, I am going to go for The Poppy War by R.F. Kwan. And this is a fantasy and... Uh, the main character is described as being a dark-skinned peasant girl from the south and it's not an easy thing in Sangard 
and she has to fight a lot of prejudice. So this sounds to be like quite a great story. I know Cody enjoyed this one. The Poppy Wall, this will be my first one. I've also got my Ghibli-a-thon TBR here as well, so I'll pop that down there and add the Poppy Wall to the June TBR pile. Let's, let's roll again. Pop this on the bottom. So let's roll again. Three. Awesome. So there's a two and a one. <laughs> one, two, three. Read a Wattpad author. Um, if you don't know, I write on a website called Wattpad. But I'm not reading anything on Wattpad. I just want to read books that have been published by authors who have used Wattpad in the past. So I already know what the fuck I'm reading for that. And that is Heartstruck by Rebecca Sky. I am definitely, definitely reading this one. I was waiting for the op first opportunity I got to put this on my TBR. I am really excited to read it. It is a sequel to Arrowheart, which is about a line of descendants of Eros. These, these descendants are called Headnesses, and they have special powers that takes away a man's will when they kiss them. And yeah, I, I love the first book. I cannot wait to get this one started. This one comes out in July. I managed to get a copy from the publisher because Rebecca Sky put in a very good word for me. Love you. And yeah, I'm really, really excited. Definitely heartstruck. Definitely heartstruck. So glad I got that one on there. Let's roll again, shall we? So I've rolled a five and a one. So that's six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, read a sequel. Read a sequel. What? Oh, I oh I know one, but it's quite it's quite chunky. Oh, I don't know if I should read a lot uh a smaller one. Oh, oh, what have I read recently? I mean, I've got two options. I've got two options. And... Hallelujah. 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 Let's get down here. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. Right, I need to read this. Um, I've already got the bookmark started in this one because I'm reading through a series of unfortunate events. So I am going to pick the fifth book in the series, The Oster Academy. And yeah, I've already got my bookmark in there because as soon as I finish one book, I try and start the next one, but it doesn't always happen because of my TBR. So I read The Miserable Mill last month, which wasn't on my TBR, but I just managed to, to slot it in. So I'm going to read The Austere Academy by Lemony Snicket for my reader sequel. So that actually works out very well. Oh, I'm really excited about this TBR already. Looking really good. So that's three rolls now. So let's go for another roll. And that is a four and a one. So that's five. One, two, three, four, five. YA fantasy. YA fantasy. What have I bought recently that's YA that I'm excited about? Why you gotta do this to me? Gosh, I, I don't want to start a new series, so I'm sorry for all of this. I'm not, I'm not prepared. Is it really weird that I don't actually have a really suitable one? I might end up having to pick one. Okay, I want to pick one that I almost chose for the reader sequel because I just finished Dorothy Must Die and so I am on to The Wicked Will Rise. This is a YA fantasy and... If I didn't pick this one, I would have had to have picked like Throne of Glass, but I don't want to start a new series just yet. I've literally, I'm, I'm all series out at the minute, so I need to try and finish some before I continue picking up more. Unless I land on start a new series, then I'm fucked. The Wicked Will Rise. So this is the sequel to Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. It's set in an Oz where good is wicked and wicked is good kind of thing. So the first book kind of descended into madness at the end and it got a lot better by the final few pages. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. Fortunately, it's not chunky. None of the Dorothy Must Die books are. The biggest one is the first one. So this is only about just under 300 pages long. So fantastic. This will slot right in with my already astounding TBR pile. Let's have a look. Oh, I've rolled a two and a two. That's a double. And that's four. 
So one, two, three, four, I've landed on LGBT. You would think I'd have more, but I really don't. <laughs> I'm gonna struggle with this one. Uh, with it being Pride Month actually in June, this is, this is a really good role. This is a good role. I should make all of my roles LGBT themed though, to be honest, it is, it is the month of the Pride. Ooh, actually, yes, yes, yes. So I've got a book that I recently bought that was very hard to get hold of. Like I ended up having to, okay, right, so, so again. So this is like a beloved book on booktube and I was trying to order it in at work, but it wasn't available to order in. Amazon was saying one to two months. So I ended up getting this book on book depository, but then the day after I ordered it, I was taking in the delivery at work and guess what happened to be on that delivery? It was this book, but I'd already bought it so I couldn't get it half price. Never mind, it's fine. So I will be reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I'm really excited about this one because so many people have read it and loved it. And I believe there is bisexual rep in this. So this is why I am, I am choosing this for my LGBT role because I am so excited to read it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All I really know about this one is that it is set in the 1950s and it is about Evelyn Hugo, who is like a Hollywood icon. So I don't know a lot about it. I think it's a romance. And, and apparently Evelyn Hugo has a very interesting life. So yes, I'm so excited to start this one. It's two books in a row that has a, that weird feel to the books. It's like an American publication, I think. One, two, three, four. Okay, I was gonna say final final roll, but I did just roll a double, so I've got two more rolls to do now. So let's try it out. Okay, I got seven. I rolled a six and a one. So where where am I? Seven. Oh shit in hell. I think I think I already know what I've done. I think I've already know what I've done. One, two, three, four, five, six, fucking seven. Start a new series, innit? Oh <sighs> no. No! I don't want to read Throne of Glass yet, but what else have I got series-wise that I haven't started yet? And I really don't want to start another series. Why? Why? There is really nothing. I mean, there's, there's a couple of other things, but they're quite, quite huge. They're quite big ones. anything up here. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Hang on. Wait. I think I've, I think I've spotted one. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do. So for this one, I'm not going to read Throne of Glass. I'm going to read Alice by Christina Henry. This is part of her fairy tale retellings. And it is, I am reading The Mermaid for Ghibli-thon. So this is I think it's the Alice Chronicles. I think she's done Alice and Red Queen as two in a series, as well as The Mermaid and Lost Boy and The Girl in Red. So this one, it's a bit of a twisted version of Alice. It kind of, it makes me think of that PlayStation game, Alice Madness Returns, I think. But yeah, it's like a twisted version of Wonderland. Alice goes back to it and... Yeah, very, apparently it's very disturbing. I know Cody enjoyed this one, so I'm looking forward to reading this one. But yeah, fortunately, whew, starting a new series means I can do this bad boy. One more roll. Let's do it. Okay. I've got a five and a one, so that's a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I've learned, ah, that's so, oh, that's cute. I've ended on the same space as where I began, which was on that horror space. Now that is beautiful. That is, that is poetic. I do want to read a Stephen King book every month, but I'm, I'm still reading Gerald's Game at the minute. And there is another horror book that's come out recently that I'm really excited to read. So I don't know what to do right now. I don't know if I could, with all of this going on, I don't know if I could handle a Stephen King book in the month of June. I may. Okay, I'm going to go for the new release. 
that I know a couple of people have read on booktube and have enjoyed it. Okay, I'm going to grab that one for you. It's on the very top shelf. <sighs> Sorry for the crotch shot. So I'm going to go for My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. And this, is, this feels like a very, obviously with the way it looks, it's like an 80s kind of horror. It reads as if Tina Fey wrote The Exorcist. Like that, if, if she wrote The Exorcist, this is what it would be like. So it seems very Mean Girls-esque, but set in the 80s with like a kind of supernatural horror thriller aspect to it. I, it, it feels very Stranger Things and I love Stranger Things. I love the look of the cover. This would have, this would have been a cover by had I not seen it already recommended on Booktube. Oh, I'm really excited. I'm glad I picked this one. Sorry, Stephen King. June may be a month where I don't get to pick one of your books up, but if I do manage to fly through this, then that's awesome. However, there is still two more books that I need to add to this because, hello, it's Song of Ice and Fire, readathon, and I want to catch up to the live show, which will be at the end of June. And I still need to read Clash of Kings, but I'm going to try and do that in the next few days after I finish Gerald's game. But there are two, that's right, two parts to the next book. So I now need to fit in part one of Storm of Swords, Steel and Snow, and part two of Storm of Swords, Blood and Gold. <sighs> that is my lovely little TBR pile for this month. I'm definitely, definitely not going to read all of them because I, I still have November 9 by Colleen Hoover to put in there. In two of them, A Game of Thrones. I am going to try and read these ones in the one week. So I'll hopefully fly through these and November 9. And then I do have three weeks to read these ones. It's doable. I probably won't read these in order either. But oh, I'm so excited about really all of these. I'm really excited to read them though. That's the thing. Like I just hope I have all the time in the world to read these. Like, I really want to finish them. And these as well, I'm excited to, to dive into. Oh, I'm gonna have to try and schedule this. Oh God, there's a pube. I'm really happy about my, my choices here. Oh my God, I've, I didn't even click record. I've just went through all of the books one by one, just to mention what it is I picked and I didn't even click record. Oh my god. Grr. So I am fucked, guys. Like, seriously, 15 books in one month. What am I doing? So, because the camera was so far away, I will just quickly go through each one of those books um, for you. Just a little roll call, as you will. Of course, I'll start with the ghibli -thon reads, and the first one is House Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones as the group read. November 9 by Colleen Hoover as my Adult Romance Read, The Mermaid by Christina Henry as my sea related book, Matilda by Roald Dahl as my bookworm main character, The Worst Witch by Jill Murphy as my childhood favourite, The Beast Player by Nohaku Yahashi as my fierce female main character pick. And now going on to those bookopoly roles, the first one was The Poppy War by R.F. Kwan as my chance card, which was to read a book with a person of colour main character. Then I have Heartstruck by Rebecca Sky, and that was to read a Wapad author. The Oster Academy by Lemony Snicket as my reader sequel. This is the fifth book in the series of Unfortunate Events series. The Wicked Will Rise by Danielle Page as my YA fantasy pick. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid as my LGBTQ plus pick. Alice by Christina Henry as my start a new series role. My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix as my horror role, which was the last role on the board, but obviously I hate myself. So I also decided to throw in A Storm of Swords Part 1 and A Storm of Swords Part 2 so I can catch up with the readathon. Obviously, I hate myself. This is going to be a disaster. If you want to see the implosion, please subscribe. I will be documenting all of my failures in the month of June with vlogs and wrap-ups and ghibli -thon and so much more. I am so excited, though. I am very, very excited about this coming month. I, already, I, I just want to get started on these ones already. Like, I may end up starting just like a, a day early or two if I manage to finish Gerald's Game and A Clash of Kings 
<laughs> okay, no, scratch that. I'm obviously not, not going to be starting any earlier. If anything, I'm going to be late. So yeah, that was my June TBR. And I am still absolutely raging that I forgot to click record when I went through this part of the video. So please like and comment on this video if you enjoyed it. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Let me know if any of those take your fancy. Let me know if you've read any of those and let me know what you've thought of them. And yeah, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.